How does alcohol influence digestive diseases? Regardless of the dose consumed, alcohol is a toxic substance that can generate alterations in digestive diseases to the point of worsening their prognosis. Although it should be restricted in any diet, attention should be paid when there is a chronic pathology with an inflammatory base. If so, its intake can lead to an increase in symptoms and other complications. And although it is an accepted drink in society, it does not fall out of the group of drugs harmful to health. In the medium and long term, it tends to cause damage to various body systems, even with moderate intakes. The Effects of Alcohol on the Body The first thing to note is that alcohol increases inflammation levels. This is really bad, whether chronic disease is already present or not. When a state of chronic low-grade inflammation develops, the body's physiological processes decrease in efficiency. Thus, as evidenced by research published in the British Journal of Nutrition, health tends to deteriorate. In fact, this bad habit also alters the hormonal environment. In particular, it causes a decrease in testosterone levels and increases the concentration of cortisol. In turn, it inhibits protein synthesis, which leads to skeletal muscle degradation. This mechanism further increases the inflammatory process and causes harmful changes in metabolic functioning. And while both genders are affected, it is believed to be especially harmful to men. The reason? A decrease in testosterone levels is associated with an increased tendency to age. After all, we are talking about their main sex hormone. Alcohol and digestive pathologies. In addition to the problems mentioned above, the effects of alcohol on the intestinal microbiota should also be highlighted. A study published in the journal Behavioral Brain Research shows that it reduces the density and diversity of the bacteria that live in the intestinal tract, which increases the risk of dysbiosis. Once the microbiota is altered, digestive processes begin to deteriorate. This can result in intolerances or increased symptoms associated with intestinal pathologies. In addition, the toxic itself could be the cause of some of them, such as ulcers or gastroesophageal reflux. In fact, when suffering from the latter condition, it is best to avoid the intake of alcohol and irritating substances. On the other hand, ingesting this type of beverages can modify the absorption of some nutrients or the homeostasis of the organism. To be more precise, it tends to provoke acute hypoglycemia, although in the medium term it generates insulin resistance. Also fatty liver, which negatively affects the functioning of the metabolism. In any case, it is best to avoid the presence of this element in the diet, even occasionally. Alcohol and Acid Secretion We must not forget that alcohol consumption can also alter the production of acid in the stomach. In case the tissue is damaged for any reason, this would aggravate the symptoms. Ultimately, it is key to mention that the intake of these drinks itself is considered a risk factor for the development of cancer in the digestive tract. The esophagus, stomach and intestine will see their epithelium modified due to the presence of the toxicant in the diet. In the long term, this leads to the genesis of malignant cells. Alcohol is harmful for digestive diseases. Whenever there are digestive pathologies, it is necessary to completely restrict the consumption of intoxicating beverages. Otherwise, their symptoms may worsen or the conditions may progress more rapidly. In fact, these toxic substances should be avoided in any context. While until a few years ago it was speculated that a small amount could protect the cardiovascular system, this is now known to be totally uncertain. Therefore, its consumption should no longer be normalized and, as far as possible, should be rejected. Instead, priority should be given to the consumption of mineral water, which is the best source of hydration for the body. Thanks for watching.